Hey guys, so I'm making this video because when we were making our stocks by request for Jollibee, a lot of you requested for a couple of stocks. So that's the context of this video. So that's why the posting of this video is a bit later than the normal time that I would put out my videos. But I'm doing this in response to all of you. As you all know, the reason why I do these videos is really I just want to give you as much information as possible. I just want to help as much Filipinos as possible for them to be able to trade the markets with confidence, for them to be able to win. Because I really believe that winning in the market is all about having the right information, having the right skills, having the right tools, having the right experience, and double downing on that and practicing and doing your due diligence. Because at the end of the day, there's no shortcut to success. There's no shortcut for you to be able to do well and make money. It has to be you rolling up your sleeves. It has to be you spending the time to be able to work hard and make your money work hard for you by studying and practicing and building that skill set as well. So so if you haven't watched the Jollibee video yet, you can just go to videos prior to this and you will see the Jollibee video there. I also made a video of the PSE. I know I, made, I gave you guys an update on where the market is in general. So we have two charting videos already just for the day. This is our third bonus video because all of you guys requested. And while I was making the chat, uh, one of the top stocks that you guys requested during the chat was URC. So by the way, for those who are new uh, to this channel, Stocks by Request is basically you sending me the stocks that you guys want that want that you guys want to be analyzed and then we're gonna make uh, charting videos off of it with one goal in mind not 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 that these are picks these are never stock picks and if you know me enough i'm not going to give you stock picks i'm here to give you the logic the analysis behind those stock moves so that you guys get to pick you guys get to select you guys get to trade the markets with confidence because at the end of the day if you guys know how to select on your own you don't need me and that's what i want i don't want you to be dependent on me i want you guys to be able to determine and analyze stocks on your own so again these are not stock picks my hope and my desire is while i'm analyzing this especially those who attended stock smarts you know the logic of this i hope that while i'm analyzing this you have your charts open as well so you guys get to analyze it too so the one that had the largest request was universal rubina corporation so let's take it one by one if you notice how URC looks like and I'll try to show you uh, in comparison also to JFC because we just showed you JFC as well it almost it's not totally the same but if you if I'll stretch out the chart of URC uh, to something that's longer you will also see that hey there, there's there's a semblance on how it actually looks like why because as you notice majority of the stocks either had a longer downward move or they were moving sideways then there came a point at the end of Feb, at the start of March, that they all started to break down as well. As you can see, also looking at Universal Rubino Corporation, the tipping point for Universal Rubino Corporation was at the support line. When the 134 support line got broken, that's when all things uh, went sour for URC. You can reference a Jollibee video that once a support line gets broken, please remember, URC did not drop the 134 level since January 2019. So it was trying to hold on to this level already for more than 13 months. But again, when a strong support gets hit, you would see bounces off of it. Similar to this, boom, bounce. Hit this, it bounce again. But once it, a strong support gets broken, you it's followed by a very, very strong breakdown as well. It's followed by a very, very strong sell down. It's followed by also a larger movements and when that happened, by the way, look at MACD, it's also confirming that it was already bearish with momentum. Look at all of the other moving averages also, it was also confirming that it was bearish with momentum as well. So that being said, we're now here. But for those, I'll just make this quicker also for those who are position traders. If I'm going to do a trend line here, you'll, you'll see that the highest point connecting to another higher point uh, confirms that, hey, at this point in time, it's still in a downward trend. At this point in time, the main underlying trend still is still head, it's still headed down. It really hasn't uh, shifted gears yet. It really hasn't done a trend reversal yet. So even if you hyperextend this, you will see it has to break out from this trend line first for us to really note that it's making a legit reversal. And again, for those who attended our stock smart sessions, you know the whole context of trend following. You know the whole context of position trading is you following the trend that you come in when the downtrend is over. And a lot of people are saying, wait for the reversal. Guess what? What we're seeing right now is we haven't really seen it break the, this major trend line. This major trend line is very, very strong. This major trend line is something that people should watch out for because for it to actually move higher, it must break out from this trend line first. So two 
things from a uh, trend following standpoint, from a position trading standpoint that you need to watch out for. Number one is it needs to break out from this because as you all know, this is a strong, strong support that a breakdown from a strong support will make it a strong resistance. So in the next few days, it may try to push, it may try to hit this, but if it fails to break out from this, then it may experience some retracements downward as well. And if you notice it also, this particular resistance level coincides with a 50-day moving average. This particular trend line coincides with a 200-day moving average. So those are the two resistances that you need to watch out for. The range resistance at the 134.4 level and the trend resistance that coincides with the 200-day moving average, which as of this point in time, we still have not broken out from. So that's my take from a position trading standpoint. Even MACD is pretty much confirming that, hey, it's not yet uh, pushing up. It's not yet still uh, crossing over as well. But by the way, before I go to quick trading, before I go to for those who want to trade the volatility, you have to also remember this, that uh, URC, a lot of their products, a lot of the stuff that they sell, especially the instant coffee, especially some of the drinks, they're staples. They're the ones that in the groceries, people buy. Because you have to remember, times are different right now. This is now the new normal. People will skimp off buying clothes, but they will stock up on things that they can uh, have at home, especially during the lockdown. People will be consuming food uh, and then the stuff that you are see selling if you notice most of them you can stock up because it's not panis kagad so i think that's their arbitrage you know? that's their uh, biggest upside that when other establishments that are retail a lot of things that are discretionary a lot of things that people can live without uh when when people can are starting to when people are skipping off on things that they don't need they will shift the consumer behavior shifting on buying things that they need because of this lockdown. And I don't know if you know this, and you can comment below on your thoughts on this, but have you noticed it as the lockdown started? Uh, there are things that we thought that are so important, but because of the lockdown, they're not so important anymore. There are things that we normally buy, that we normally consume, that we thought we could, ne we could never live without. But because of the lockdown, suddenly, we suddenly realized, that, hey, I don't need it as much. Then suddenly, our lives started to become more basic also. There are certain things that we thought that we, we needed to buy, but because of the lockdown, we weren't able to buy it. But 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 even if we're not able to buy it, we're okay. I'll give you an example from my own personal perspective. I would eat uh, ramen at a ramen shop near my place almost every week because the ramen is just so good. And every time I would talk myself not to eat there, I would always say, na, uh, de, de, masarap, masarap. Uh, sayang naman if I don't eat it. And parang hindi ko, hindi complete yung week ko without eating at that ramen shop. But guess what? Uh, almost four weeks na, I haven't really eaten uh, there yet. Even way, even before the lockdown started, I think I stopped going out as much already and I haven't really eaten in that place as well. And that's what I'm saying. Uh, ramen shops like that or other, other fast food chains, other, especially if you're selling clothes, especially if you're selling furniture, appliances, those are the last things that people would buy. Uh, I, I went to that entire segue just to say that URC, majority of the stuff that they're selling, people will buy uh, because it's what they need. People will prioritize food in this era, especially when people start losing jobs, especially when people when people's income are not doing so well, especially when businesses start to falter. Uh, people, uh, people will focus on food first and URC is right smack in the middle of that. So from an earnings perspective, I think they will be better off than other companies that uh, are selling air conditions that are selling my, uh, at large TVs, that are selling watches, etc. Anyways, uh, from a quick trading perspective, here's what I do know. Th the main support line right now for URC is at the 94.8 level. I repeat, the main support line now for URC is at the 94.8 level. So if I'll zoom in further here, uh, by the way, comment below, guys, if you're learning, if this is something that's helping, if this is something that's adding tremendous value to you as well. Uh, I forgot to mention, guys, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and smash that bell so you get updated every time I come up with new content about investing, about trading, about the stock market, so you get a grand context to all of this. Please just don't also subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to my other channel. It's called Stock Investing Made Easy. It's infographics. Links are down in the description below. Para awa nyo na, please subscribe. Bigyan ang pagkakataon ang isang taong hindi guwapo. Anyways. Uh, support is 94.8, boom, hits the support level, then it started to bounce. If I'll draw some sort of a de facto semi-support level, this could be, uh, sorry, resistance level. This is a short-term resistance. But here's the thing. As of Wednesday, last week, 
last trading day before the Holy Week, it broke out of that. So that being said, this is what you could watch out for. And by the way, confirmed by this change in direction. If you notice it, majority of the stock, similar to the other videos that I've posted, are basically, boom, falling in a downtrend, trying to consolidate from certain levels as well. Um, URC is almost also doing the same thing, falling from a downtrend, then boom, you hit 94.8 and it started to consolidate. But just the past few days, it broke out from this level. Uh, it closed... Uh, as long as it stays above the 116 level, here's what I believe. Couple of scenarios. Number one, if URC stays above the 116 level, possible target, possible narrative is it, it again, it will attack this level. But in the next few days, if it tries to attack this and this this level reiterates itself as a resistance, the next possible narrative, the next possible scenario is you will see URC start to retrace and go back to this level where it will try to attack this. So the next thing you need to watch out for, what's very, very important in the next few days is this level. Check if this level will hold. If the 116 slash 117 level holds, then probably the range that URC will go through is 116 to 134 short term. But if the one 16 level does not hold, then you may expect URC to just retrace and fall to this level. So I repeat, the sequence of events for URC basically is this. It bounced from the 94.8 level. After bouncing, you how do you know it's a support? Also, check this out. It took already more than two weeks and it held its own, held its ground here. Then it started to bounce. Broke out from this very, very small resistance level, which this is where it is now. It's only two days above the support level and the new support level. So we have to see, we have to check if there's more underlying evidence if this support level will actually hold. So if it holds, then good, then it will attack the 136 level, 134 level. If it does not break the 134 level, then the common underlying features, you can see that 116, 134, that's the level where it will try to oscillate. But here's the thing, if this level just gets broken, over and over and over again, then it will just show us that this is the primary uh, range that will follow. And as what I've mentioned from the start of this video, that the 134 level is a level that's very, very strong. It's a level that there's a lot of selling also happening. So that being said, if that level does not really show itself as a support, I believe this could also be an, a range that this, could, this stock could actually move on to from here then all the way here, then it could move into this range. So this is, so we have to watch out now, number one, if the 116 level holds, if it does, then it could be 116 to 134. If it becomes hazy and really doesn't move, you could see it just oscillate from 94.8 to around 135. If it breaks out from the 134, 135, 136 level, then well and good, because it now has a chance to break past uh, this very, very long and very, very strong resistance, as you can see here. Oops, sorry about that. So uh, it now it now has a shot to break past that. And as you notice it, that's the downtrend that I plotted at the start of the video as well. So that being said, also on the flip side, if when once it if it does not break past that level, a possible narrative is hits this level, this level gets broken, then you see URC start to retrace even lower. So the possible retracement, just giving you some scenarios. Guys, please note, this level hasn't been broken since 2015, 2013. So this is a very, very strong support level. If you try to notice it here, one evident support level, if that does not hold this at the 64 level, or you can put one here, but this is not as strong as the one at 64. So uh, for those who are bullish on URC, you have to watch out if this 94, this, this, this area here, the 94 plus level would hold because it holds the keys on whether URC will just oscillate and move sideways and has a shot to reverse or if URC breaks down or if it holds and you, by the way guys this is also a tradable range no? if this holds its own you can still trade this this is a very very large range if you notice it from here to here that's 40 plus percent already and another reason another thing that I'd like to point out and I mentioned this on the previous videos that if it does not break this it's understandable because when people make 30-40% in a few days without any change in the scenario, without any change on the underlying conditions, uh, i.e. the coronavirus, then people will sell. People will want to take profits. People would want to still keep a piece of their earnings as well, especially for people who lost on some stocks and then they made they made money on this, so it will offset some of their losses as well. So you can't ex you can't blame people for wanting to sell. You can't blame people also for wanting to get out uh, and take profits from this position as well. So 
yun lang. Uh, I hope you guys got a lot from this to recap. From a position trading standpoint, the main underlying trend for URC is still down. Uh, from a from a volatility standpoint, from a support and resistance standpoint, the main underlying support is here at the 94.8 level. And then you have a very, very strong resistance here at the 135 level as well. And this is your downtrend. So there, uh, comment below. It's relatively late already at night for this video to come out. But comment below, guys, if you have any questions, comment below. Also, uh, put hashtag stocks by request for any other stocks that you guys want me to analyze. And then I'll make new videos on top of that as well, similar to this. Then if you guys want to be part of the videos also, you guys have any questions and you want yourself to be seen in the YouTube channel, just comment. Uh, I want to be part of the vlog and then send me your questions and then let's see how we can make videos on top of your questions as well. Uh, that being said, I hope you guys got a lot and I hope you guys were able to rest well this holy weekend, holy week, holy week, holy weekend, uh, four days of really uh, not much activity as well. Not that there's any activity during the lockdown, but I guess that's it. Again, two YouTube channels, please subscribe to both. The links are in the description. Two online courses with Chinkitan, Stock Market for Everyone and Make Money, Grow Money with Shansi. Links are in the description for those who want to order the books. Links are in the description as well. I have other links also to other videos that you may want to watch. They're all in the description below. And that's it for now. Please comment below if you stayed up until then. Please comment below if you like this podcast style, if you like me not seeing my face anymore in any of the videos as well. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo, and I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys, and God bless you all.